What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to Transport Fever Los Santos. And I've still got a bit of sore throat, so my voice is going to be a bit meh today. And what are we going to do today? Well, at first I was considering putting in the um, depot, the train depot for Cypress Flats, Elysian Island, La Mesa and all that. But I thought, nah, let's move away from freight for a little bit. So, we're going to do something with the passenger trains. And I don't know how long that's going to take. So, if we got time after that, then we are going to do the... Well, we're going to at least start the La Mesa hub. I haven't quite worked out all the details of it yet. But then, to be fair, generally I don't. I just throw it in and solve any problems when they arise. So... How are we going to fix the passenger trains? Well, the main thing is, they need more capacity. That junction's so cool. I love that. Right, more capacity. So, let's have a look at the lines first. Uh, first thing I want to do, actually, I want to turn on the stations so I can see everything. And you can see that at pretty much all of our stations, particularly on the uh, Halo lines, we have quite a big build up. In fact, I think it's every station. Yes, it is. Every single station on the line. So we need to increase our capacity. At the moment, on the lines, I believe we have Zephyrs. Those shiny ones we was just riding on. I think. Where, are I, where is it? There's the anti-clockwise and there's the clockwise. How much are they making? About six million each. We can certainly improve that. Actually, what I want to do, they've got a capacity of three hundred and eighty-four, and they're pretty much full. So, yeah. Uh, I thought we had Zephyrs, or didn't I upgrade them? Ah, oh, evidently I didn't upgrade them. So, at the moment we got Atlantics with four carriages. What did I put on here? Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. So on there at the moment, I put a higher WAF with six. How much is it to replace that? Yeah, that's not going to happen for a while. Let's see what other alternatives we've got. Because that 80 million per line, that's ridiculous. Um, what shall we do? We could always put Zephyrs on there and just throw tons of them on. That could be one solution. How much do they carry? 52. So we would need like 5 and we'd be at the 384 capacity. So what if we just put 10 on? At the 5 million each. But don't forget, we'll get some money back from the trains we sell. So how much would that be? 24 million. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Let's do it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to chuck them on. And here, pretty much the same thing. Oh, come on. I desperately need a new May, so I'm going to buy one uh, probably this weekend. I'm going to have a look if there's any good ones. Right. Zephyrs. Uh, Pioneer Zephyr. They are nice, mind, and they chrome. I'm, I'm not a massive fan of chrome, but I think on some things they definitely do look nice. Right, I doubt we're going to have enough for this. Well, we're not now. We just went through New Year. But we got a ton of new vehicles. We got a fake box car, which is just like a look. One that looks, you can place in a yard or whatever. And they don't cost anything. We've got a box car. The Burlington Nas National box car. That folded into BNSF. And a load of new vehicles. They're mod vehicles, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to have a look at them in a minute. Let me just see how much this is. 24 million. Soon, my dear, soon. Right, where's a depot? There's one right there. Let's have a look at these new road vehicles. So, at the moment we're using Max, which can carry 8 at 19 miles an hour. These can go, these can carry 13 at 37 miles per hour. And it's cool how it's separated. So that one's for coal, stone, that sort of thing. Then we got the oil version, and then we got the... Um, version which carries everything else. That is so cool. Steel, food, goods. I'm definitely going to have to have a look into uh, using some of them. We've got 8 million. Let's look at our lines. 
That'd be a good idea. What's we'll losing money? We're making 12 million on the grapeseed food now. We've got some pretty good lines on, to be fair. Some pretty good lines. I still need to sort them out so they're not carrying food. Um, before I started recording, I did go around and do some uh, small tidy up things to make things work more efficiently. One of the things I did is this line, I believe it was, the grapeseed food line. I replaced the train with an Atlantic with five of the standard game box cars because it was just carrying nothing. It was losing us a lot of money. So I thought we might as well. What can we lose like? Um, there's quite a lot of lines not carrying anything, to be fair. Mainly for the LS hub. Why is that? Hmm, these are getting pretty full now. Is it just that we need more vehicles? It could well be. Right, I'm not going to buy some new ones. What I'm going to do is the lines with stuff on it. So that's them two for that depot. And what has the most here? Conmat. Uh, that's about it. So, replacement, I'm going to use one of these new vehicles. So, construction materials, yeah, these are going to be set to only carry construction materials. There you go. And, wow, 4 million? Really? Jeez, I wasn't expecting that. This is going to be expensive as well. So, we want Studebakers. Oh, didn't mean to do that. And this is going to carry just food. How much are you going to be? Three million? Really? God, I'm starting to think this ain't worth it. Jeez. And same thing, Studebaker carrying food. Are we even going to be able to afford this one? Nope, not yet, nearly. There. Right, that should hopefully increase the lines going to LS. And of course, when we put the new lines on, which that's going to be quite tricky but I think we can do it then it's just going to increase the lines more so not all hope is lost the biggest decision is where to put the hub but there might be a good place and then you could have like truck them across the river that's a cool idea I'll keep that in mind right we've got six million I just stall in to get some money for this line which was at 24 million I've got a feeling that's going to take a while. So, let's have a look at the LS stab line. You. How are you doing? I think you're actually doing pretty well, i got to be fair. Um, TP LS stab. Yeah, it's making a 7 million. That's got more capacity than the halo lines. That's bad. Um, that's actually doing okay. I think. I think we can leave that one for the time being. Right, what else is losing us money? We've still got to set up those two lines, the fuel lines to Chumash and Polito. Um, there's a lot of these lines which just really they need to pick up. That's all they need is a bit of time. Right, since that was a lot quicker than I thought it would be, I'm debating whether to put in the new hub. So the way it'll work is everything gets taken to the hub up here, like the food, the construction materials, the fuel. Then it's shipped down to this hub here in Los Santos. And some of it's delivered to Vinewood, Del Perro and Los Santos. And then some of what's left gets distribute, uh, distributed to La Mesa, Cypress Flats, Elysian Island. Um, I did put a new train on this line because we got a bit of a problem with construction materials. I'm not sure if it was enough though. I don't know, I'm going to have to look at that. Um, where? The problem is that these lines I put in, they go into the wrong platforms realistically. They should have went to the far platforms. So, whatever line we put in, unless we relay this. Oh, a lot of vehicles reach their lifetime, what are they? Uh, that's fine, nothing big. Um, unless we relay this track here, it's going to have to go up and over this track, which is not too difficult. We could just have it so it comes off straight here and then goes over the tunnel. The problem is, then it's got to cross over these eight lines. 
and then it's gotta go down, then it's gotta go to the hub, and that's assuming the hub's by here. Either that, or it's gonna have a ridiculously sharp curve, but that. Uh, either way, it's gonna have a sharp curve, but that's gonna be excessively sharp. Huh. I've got a feeling I might have to relay some track here. And there's no better time to do it than when we got 8 million to play with. So, uh, I need to get this train out of the depot, out of the station even. Come on, before another one shows up. Um, I'm thinking one more section should be enough. Or, yeah, by right here actually. Right, perfect. And this line is going to go... Yeah into there. I'm just wondering if I should have a straight section before it goes in. Um, nah, it's fine. And, oop, that's not what I wanted. There you go. Was that high speed track? No, that's ordinary track, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Pop you in there. Upgrade you. I don't really know why you wasn't upgraded. Anyway, uh, track. Oop, come on. I always like to bring these out to the same place just to give it some symmetry. I think it looks so much better if they come out to the same place, the points. Pop you in there. And pop you up to there. So I finally got around to watching the film It. I've been waiting quite a while to watch that and it's actually a pretty good film. It's weird, I get mixed receptions of it. I liked it. I didn't find it so much scary as entertaining because, I don't know, horror films just never seem to scare me that much. But yeah, it's definitely worth seeing, but I'm, it's not guaranteed you'll get scared because it didn't scare me much at all, to be fair. Um, another good film I've watched recently, Hitman's Bodyguard. God, that's funny. That is a really funny film. Um... I haven't watched Kingsman, The Golden Circle yet. That is something I really do want to watch soon. I think that's going to be an awesome film. Wait, let me just check these lines. Uh, okay. But yeah, that's definitely worth watching, The Kingsman Bodyguard. Uh, what do I want? I want the lines. Uh, so, con maps worked out. I know why. <laughs> oh, come on, auto save. Yep, they're locked into their platforms. So if I turn the lock off, that should work. That seems to work. Before I lock them in, for sure, let's just see what they're doing at this end. Hopefully nothing stupid. Mm. Other than the fact they're all going into the wrong lines. That's a food train, so food has to go into... Yeah, th that should be food. Uh, con, Matt, you should go into seven, I believe. Our fuel goes into there. I think that's right, because that's a food train. It is important to get this right, because otherwise all the trains will be on the wrong tracks. Uh, I'm looking for a fuel train. So, yep, yeah, you're a fuel train. Right, that's perfect, then. That's where they should be going. Right, that's fine. Now, we need a link to... I don't know, is it worth printing a, like a little truck type station in? It's certainly a good question. Because it's not going to be a long track either way. And the biggest question, where is it going to go? Like, we got this station in Elysian Island, but... Like, if we send it there, then... We just have to truck it back across two rivers to get it to La Mesa and Cypress Flats. The logical place to put it would be somewhere by here. My mouse has stopped working. Um, actually, a tough decision. Got to be, got to be fair. Um, hmm. Of course, another advantage to having it here is I wouldn't have to bridge across the river. 
Right, that, that settles it. I, it's going here. Get rid of these bits of road. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. And we can actually put a terminus station in for this, surprisingly. So, two, uh, three tracks. Four. La final decision for 120 plus 200 high speed, second street connection and no curvature <coughs> turn it round a touch uh, like that should be fine and uh, I'm just going to plop it really 2 million, that's the best you'll do son of a gun uh, since the lines are fixed actually we can play this Right, now I want to reconnect these roads. Actually, what I want to do, lay a piece of road uh, down like that. And, oh, no, not like that. That can just come into this junction or, or not. Why is it trying to connect to the, the rail tunnel underneath? Like That makes absolutely no sense. There. And then I'm going to connect these roads onto it. I think that's a much better idea because then we can have the truck depots on this road. See? I'm not all just good looks. And let's just... No, not like that. Eh, it's not the best, but it'll do. And that one I think we can just connect straight up. I want it to look nice. It's a it's a dock front <laughs> it's a dock front station. The docks have to look nice. That's like the unwritten rule of dock. Yes, I just made that up. Oh, come on, mouse. Seriously. Annoying me. Um I got a feeling this road here is gonna have to uh be modified a little bit. And <clears throat> I think what would make more sense is if I did the outside track first, because that's the one with the curve. Yeah, this is not going to be fast. Uh, that's not good. No. Actually, we could use that road. Uh, what I want to do is put in a second part like that and see if we can get something decent 60 I think that's the best we're gonna get 60 is probably the best we're gonna get uh, I did that wrong actually damn I put that in the wrong place This mouse, I'm. That's it. As soon as I finish recording, I'm going on the internet and finding a new blooming mouse. God, it's annoying. Like, it's seriously annoying. Like, I'm moving the mouse now, like, a lot, and it's moving it a tiny bit. And it's nothing doing my DPI, my uh, sensitivity. It's not that, it's the actual mouse itself. Come on. Been broken for about a week now. I probably should have done something sooner. But then the mouse just got stuck at the top of the screen. Now it's stuck again. There you go. God. I don't even know what's causing it, but I'm just gonna try and not to moan too much for the rest of the episode. Then I'm gonna buy a new one on probably Amazon. I know razors make pretty good mouse or mice, whatever you want to call it. The thing with Razer is apparently they're good mice, but when they break, they break like bad. Like they just absolutely <laughs> unusable. Come on, mouse. There. At this rate, I might just get the mouse that came with a computer, which is in my drawer, and use that for the rest of the day. Like, jeez, this is bad. Right, no. Enough complaining. Where is my mouse now? Where's the cursor there? This is absolutely... 
ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Um, this is no, I got the wrong one. Damn, son of a gun. Today is just not my day. It's just everything's trying to work against me. I think. Actually, that was the right. <sighs> Going insane. One, two, three, four, five. Take it back to there. Right, try that again. Bit properly. I want it to go there, I believe. Yep. Oh, we got enough to replace this now. 24.3 million. Go for it. The capacity has only gone up a tiny bit on that for now, but I am going to put more trains on. Never you mind. Oh my god, we've actually run out of money to put a signal in. <laughs> That's like next level poor. Can't even afford the cheapest thing in the game. That's like going to a corner shop and not being able to buy a penny sweet. That's like so sad. At this point, they might as well just give it to me for nothing. Like, oh, dude, we can see her in half times here. Six million in debt. Here you go, have this signal on us. That's not going to happen, but it's always nice to dream. It's nice to have the imagination. While I'm doing that, I want to know what these are. What the hell is that? Can't see. Is there a way to turn it around put it on this track, maybe? I think they're like. German high speed signals? I'm not sure. I've lost where I'm putting the signals in now. Here. Yeah. Right, come on. Nearly there. 800,000. God, just think, in the first couple of episodes, how long it would take me to get 8 million out of debt. I probably would have just cancelled the rest of the series, to be fair. There's no getting out of that at the beginning of the game. I encountered a glitch when I first bought this game. It was something to do with the ships not working, and I only set up ship lines. And while I was sat there trying to fix it, I didn't think of putting it on pause. And I ended up just like 150 million in debt. It was ridiculous. There's just no way of coming back from that. Right, you, there to there. I should have bought three lines, or opened three lines for two. Three. Oh, that's four. Son of a... Can't swear. Mustn't swear. This is a family-friendly channel. And you're going to go from there to there. And guess what? You, there, to there. Cracking. Now, this is going to be yellow. Yellow. And you, my friend, are going to be TF... Doc... No... Food Dock, because I got that new naming system. Food Dock 1. You, my friend, are going to be green. And you are going to be TF Con Mat Dock 1. And you, my friend, are going to be orange. And you're going to be TF Fuel. Dark one. Perfect. Right, now we need a depot. Which, surprisingly, I only just remembered we need one of them. Um, I think we should put it by here somewhere. I think that would be cool. So I want train, uh, depot, 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 depot is in there. Hashtag lost my mind for a minute. That is such a dock building we're using this. Irrelevant of price. If I turn it around just a touch, pop it in the corner there, and this will look like a legitimate dock. My god, I'm a genius. Boom. I'm going to make this as docky as possible. we got to take advantage, we're right on the riverfront. So, I'm going to make this look like a legit dock. Thing. And I'm going to bring a track out straight like that. This is all for aesthetic more than anything, mind. Bring that like that. That is going to connect onto there, like that. And there's always like a 
piece of track which goes nowhere at dark. So you ever notice that? So I'm going to pop that like that. And it's going to go like that. And this is going to be the main track. So this is the one that's going to cross everything. Preferably in a straight line. I could not have asked for a more perfect thing than that. And then this one. This is the one that actually connects to the first track. I think it's always nice to do something just simply for aesthetic looks. It's so much better. And this is going to come out of there like that. Join onto there. And where's all this going? Well, I'm going to put a depth on the end, do my little trick again. But remember the depot up north, we put in a lot of double slip switches so we can get on any track. I'm going to do the same thing, but because this switch is so close to this double slip switch, I'm going to leave that the same. So if trains want to get on this first track, they use this line. And all the rest, I'm going to press double slip switches. I think that's going to be mega cool. Yeah. Yeah. I do like these double slip switches. Boom. I think that looks really cool. That is exactly like something you'd find in a dock area. I don't know what you guys think about it. Let me know. But I really like that. I think that's awesome. What I should realistically do though. So I mean, I don't know if you've ever noticed. You probably don't pay much attention. But the track is that I want. Tracks which go nowhere generally don't have catenary. So. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, no, like that. Damn, that looks cool. I like that a lot. Right, before I buy the trains, I want to, what do I want to do? I want to put the trucks in. So I think, guys, I should put the truck depots in. Maybe a little bit of decoration would be nice. And then I'll put the lines in and then I will bring you back once that is done. So, it's going to be transformed from an open area to a really nice docks. So, I will bring you back in a moment. Okay guys, I've nearly done the decoration and we've got the Alco PA and the Alco PB. And that's a little odd because that is a locomotive. So you might be thinking, what the hell is that? Is that a passenger car? No, that is also a locomotive. But, this has no cab. So let's say this train... It's not powerful enough or it's got to go up a steep incline. They'll stick one of these on the back of the power car. And it's essentially got two engines with one driver. They're really cool. They're really quick as well, if I remember. Where's a depot? I literally just pulled in. <laughs> so let's have a look at these. So that's, what we're using at the moment is uh, that, the Zephyr. These, they don't carry passengers. You need ca uh, carriages for that. But look how... 117 miles per hour they go and you can stick as many PBs on the back as you want. It'd look a bit daft but you could still do it. Another thing I want to look at, where's those new box cars? Uh, there's one, fake box car. Yeah, you can see this has no running cost but it only goes 12 miles an hour so you can't realistically use it. It doesn't even carry anything. But that's just for like if you wanted something in a yard maybe. <gasps> Oh, I know where this is going. Um, damn, how would I put it there? Um, damn, damn, da, 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 bam. I want to put it on that fake piece of track, but I haven't got a way of putting it there. I know, I'll figure something out in the next episode. I think that's going to be awesome, though. Right, anyway, decorations all done. Well, I might put a bit more in after the episode, but damn, that looks awesome. Let me just turn. Boom. You guys cannot tell me that that doesn't look absolutely amazing. I refuse to believe it. That looks awesome. Right. I need to put the lines in. I only really brought you back to show you that new locomotive we got. So let me just put the lines in quickly. Okay, guys. So I put in this new bridge here because every single town in the world has a stone arch bridge in it for some reason 
and I also put in this, I suppose you could call it a intercity highway type road, boulevard. And uh, this goes all the way down, finally connecting Alician Island by uh, road to the rest of the mainland. And one thing I want to do before it drives me absolutely crazy is upgrade. Uh, where is it? That one? No. Yeah. I want to upgrade that road. Or would I be better doing. Yeah, I think that one looks better. Just so it works. It, it looks more pleasing like that, I think. Right, let me just uh, walk you through the lines quickly. We got $50 million. That's certainly a good thing. Right, La Mesa, hence the reason I put that bridge in. If I open up the lines here, uh, ignore that noise. That's a train going past my house. I probably should have closed the window. Give me a second. And back. <laughs> probably should have closed the window before I started recording. Right, anyway... So let me talk you through the lines. We got these ones for La Mesa here, uh, the Conmat, the Fuel and the Food and they go across this bridge here. The food is getting dropped off here because that's where the commercial is. Let me just open the overlay. Oh, a new feature I noticed. You can change what the overlay tells you on this one. We have building value, land value and land use. Land use makes it more clearer what each area is for. That's the value of the land, the value of the building. I'm going to put land use only on. It makes it clearer. Uh, the food's getting dropped off there at that bus stop. And the other two are getting dropped off here, kind of in the middle of this side of the in, uh, industrial estate, I suppose you could call that. Right, let's go over to uh, Cypress Flats. And once again, three lines. The construction materials and the... Fuel, go here. Why did I close the overlay? So that delivers to kind of this side of the industrial estate park thing. And the food gets dropped off here. Because it's spread out, but that's kind of where the most of it is. Right, and then we got, if I close... I'm just going to tab it and do that, it's easier. Uh, we want these three lines. These are the Aleutian Island lines, which finally we can connect by land. And they deliver down to the dock area. I really like this. The docks in this game. I think the dock areas look really nice. Like the one we just put in, this one. And they deliver industry on that side, commercial on that side. It's pretty simple, to be fair. Right now, we just need some vehicles. And... Oh, another thing I did. I put the death in by here instead of here. I don't know, it just looks more dock-like. Right, what do we want? Uh, we should use these new ones, I think. Because then we can have different trucks for different things. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right, do I over to it? No. One, two, three, four, five. Set you all on uh, Conmat La Mesa. One, two, three, four, five. That's four, five. Set you all on Conmat... Uh, Elysian Island. One, two, three, four, five. Right, now we can use the oil ones. So one, two, three, four, five. Exactly the same, they just got a different back. I'll show you that now in a minute, in a moment. Um Elysian Island. One, two, three, four, five. You're going on uh Mesa. And one, two, three, four, five. You are going on. Uh, da -da -ba -ba -bum. What's the other one? LS, the Mesa, Great Sea. Am I going crazy? I am, and I. The Mesa, Illusion Night, Cypress Flats. Which is there. Perfect. And I've got the distinct feeling I messed something up there, so let me just check. I had to restart my game because uh, I had to do something else on the computer which was very important so all my settings have been lost so I need to put the music back on as well always forget to do the music right make sure none of them have nothing on it so they're all TFs yep that's fine that's exactly how I intended 
Right, let's have a look at these new trucks then. The Stutt Stuttgart, I think they're called. So this is the standard version. That's actually a really nice model. I'm pretty sure these are mo this is a mod. Damn, that's cool. That is a really nice model. That's awesome. Frame rates dropped a bit in the city, but we can still see the model, so it's fine. Right, where's the fuel ones now? Uh, I think that's one over there. Yep. So here's the fuel truck. Oh, that's cool. Damn, this game's cool. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is seriously awesome. It says cargo on the wall there. The detail in this game. Oh, I, re I love this game. I'm going to say I love this game. I'm addicted to this game. Anyway, these are going to lose us money unless we hurry up with the trains. So, did I put the... Yeah, I put the lines in. So, I want buy trains. What do we want? Um, pretty short runs. Just pointless having anything too fast. Or expensive. 50 miles an hour? I mean, we could use a steam train. We might as well use that, though, if we're going to go 50. Yeah, why not? So buy an Elko, and let's give these... Where's the new box car? We had a new one, didn't we? Which is that one. Uh, or do we... No, we just use a standard one for now, actually. Box car, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Duplicate you. Set you all on TF Conmat. Where is it? There. Hang on a minute. Ugh, the lines are screwed up. Uh, pause. I'm going to put these on the lines, then I'm going to fix it. Pause. Really? You're going to do this? Still a few bugs with this game on the beta version. Right, we want one on. No, not the Conmat. We want one on food. Hang on, no, we only need... Oh, they are different trucks, isn't they? Damn. Okay, so sell you. Set you on food dock. Auto save. So there's the food line. By train. Alco. Where's the Alco? There it is. By. And... Uh, state cars for construction materials. I'm glad I realised that, I've got to be fair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Set you on my mouse. I am actually going to kill someone in a minute if this doesn't fix itself. Right, now we want, finally the last one, Alco. And obviously we want fuel trucks. Let's use, what wouldn't look, this would look okay on a dock, I think. Adds a bit of colour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're going to go on TF Fuel Dock. Right, before I do anything else, the lines are screwed up. Yeah, you see, why are you doing that? No sense at all. It makes no sense. Terminals. Right, we want... Uh, which one is, so, the, you, no, yeah, you, terminal one, uh, no, that's not right, lock, you, I want in terminal four then, that means, no, it's not, it's terminal three, god damn it, terminal three, that'll do, or do I want that in two? Why am I overthinking this? Just go with it. Really? Stop moving. Right. And I'm going to lock these in at the other end as well. Because otherwise it's just going to keep happening. Oh, no, they're locked in. Right, that's okay. Right, play. Now they should work. Jeez, what? I don't get that. Why the game does that. Let's have a look at these little diesel locomotives. So these are the Alcos, only 50 miles an hour, but still cool either way.
you know, I think we've got ourselves a thumbnail there. Could well do. I don't know. I like to go back through the footage and decide a good thumbnail. So that's going to cross over there, and then the train will come out behind it. Pretty nice train. They're more of a shunt than a locomotive, I think. They look like the uh, Pennsylvania Railroad ones. Right, this should start. Yeah, they've already got stuff there, so these should make us some money, hopefully. With a uh, bit of hope, bit of luck. Right. Um, I think what we should do now, because <coughs> the focus of this was meant to be the passenger lines. So, I think now is a good time to add some more Zephyrs on. So, I'm going to buy trains. This is going to blow pretty much all of our money and some. I want Zephyrs and I want one, two, three, four, five. Set you all on Halo anti clockwise. Oh, I'm going to have to flip them round, didn't I? Uh, no, anti clockwise is the right one. Uh, that's fine, it's the other ones I'm going to have to flip round. The crosswise ones. That's going to be annoying. Uh, Zephyr, by trains. The Zephyr, which is all the way at the bottom, because why not? One, two, three, four. Not quite enough for a fifth. Come on, five. Set you all on clockwise. And of course now I'm going to have to flip them round when they come out the depot. So you're anti-clockwise, you're fine. And last one, just get let it get past this point and flip you around. Perfect. So there's a bit of a backlog now in both directions, but that'll clear over time. Right, let's have a look what that did. What's our capacity now? So... 570, nearly 600, they're making 10 million a piece, that's good. Grapeseed Food 2 is also making us 10 million, we got 15 million on Sandy Stone. The Conmat line is making us 12, where's Grapeseed Food 1, there it is, 7.4 million. Right, have we got any big losers? Food LS Hub, huh, what's wrong with you? I don't think anything's wrong with it, it's just not carrying as much as it should be yet. Huh. I don't know, perhaps I haven't picked up the demand or anything. Anyway guys, I think that's going to call it for today. I think we did quite a lot. We got in a new uh, docks, we've connected Elysian Island via road, we've sorted out the passenger lines, we've printed some new bridges, we've relayed some roads. That's quite a productive episode, especially for me, because I tend to dick around the bush. But... I think we did quite well today. So that's going to call it for the day. Make sure you come back for the next episode. I have no idea what we're going to do, but it's going to be good either way. And I suppose all that's left to say is I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.